So we got a call for a Jeep, a red Jeep. Matt's out of town, that's why we're here. And he's up visiting Colt. Lizzie and those guys are out, and Trevor and Tom Tom are out uh, near the Grand Canyon trying to find a motorcycle. Hope that's going well for them. Brett's got the weather, and he's the guide. It's hot, sunny, a little bit of cloud in the sky, around 70 degrees. We'll get him out. So we got an emergency. All our batteries are dying. So yeah. if the audio's bad, we apologize. Everybody else took all the batteries. <laughs> I blame Caleb. I blame Michael. Brett, who do you blame? Everyone just passed the buck. I what? blame Tucker. You picked the biggest guy out of all of us? <laughs> hey, what do you have? Man. But he's the nicest <laughs> one. Yeah, I don't think you want to pick a fight with that guy. might remember this Jeep from somewhere. He just told me that this is the Jeep that was out in Kanab on... What was that trail? Rhett, what's the trail out that we go on out by Kanab? Hog Canyon. Hog Canyon Trail, where we're pulling it out with the wrecker. The engine died, and we're pulling it out with Fabrat's wrecker, and the boom hit into the hood. That's this Jeep. That's the same <laughs> yeah. Jeep. We just got it back. Two engines. The first one they weren't happy with, so they put a second one in. It's been running fine. It's good to see that the hood looks nice yeah. and that it's running again. That's right. So that's awesome. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go down, turn around, and you just bring me up right into here to where the winch is in line with that, okay? Go ahead and get that winch ready. Oh wait, no, you need to jump in here. So the goal here, try and pull this up onto this top without rolling it over. So Rhett's just gotta follow the line up. We're gonna try and get him up here. We'll either pull him all the way out with us or we'll try and get him on this flat road right here. Go. What's going on? It's not in four-wheel drive. Yeah. Now it is. It was in two-wheel. You could tell you were in four-wheel because you flicked sand all over here, but somehow it got back into... Yeah. What's that tire doing back there, Caleb? It's on top. It's on top. So we could have probably pulled him out with the ankle rope. I'm just too scared to do that. <laughs> this wheel was making some noises. It's just the spring. Um, no, look in there. Oh, you got something. F it, F it. No, we might need a tow what... truck. He broke, the front thing broken. Uh, that's probably right. why it's not I heard that making noises and I'm like, that doesn't sound normal. Yesterday it became pretty apparent when we were looking at that job. It was a little bigger than we thought it was. We thought we'd just be able to pull it out, but it has a broken knuckle. So that's when we called in the big guns. <laughs> so we called in the big guns. They're gonna head out there today with the Morver and Blue Steel and finish off the job. We'll get them out. So what's the plan for the hood? We're gonna punch some holes in the hood, chain it up to the bottom of the Jeep, and hopefully drag it out to where we can get it loaded on the trailer with the Morver. That's our plan. Okay, our plan is to unload the Morver, head on up this trail to where the Jeep's at. And if we can find a spot that we can get the trailer turned around on that with the truck, then we'll take the truck further up in. We're gonna go up in there and drag this Jeep out of there on the hood of that car hood. We gotta load up the car hood. What are we gonna do with the car hood? I might have you run it up there. 
We don't want to scratch the more bear. Come on now. I, I want to just tie it to the back and drag it in. It's only a mile. It's only a mile, Tom Tom. So I got this. It's like an umbrella. It's kind of nice. One more mile. Thank you. <laughs> that was a long run. That was a, that was a pretty long run. So what do you guys think about the situation here? It looks bad. Oh yeah. It'll the, this is definitely getting bad. It's it's going to take some work to get out of here dragging that. Hey, look at this. The hood looks fantastic. It looks like it's been fixed. So the hard part about this is going to be having to pull it this way back onto the road from here without the back end sliding down. So we'll have to figure out how to do that and then down there as well. What you looking for? The lug nut tool. It takes a special adapter. We can use it. Wait. There we go. Sweet. I'll pull up here really quick. So what do you, do you want to take that tire all the way off? Yeah, I want to take it clear off and we'll set the hood. Okay. Right underneath all that. And we might pull in right here and use his winch and winch it that way. Days. This is what they used as a shovel. Two by fours. Because Home Depots were everywhere, but shovels were hard to find. We'll go with that for now. Right. Carefully watch it and see what happens. Fingers are the most important thing. We got a sled that we're going to slide this broken part of this Jeep out on. It's either that or try to do a trail fix. I'm not a mechanic. At least that's what I tell everybody. You got your buckle in? Safety first. This Predictions? Is, this is where the act up. I, I could go either way on this one. <laughs> Looking good. Let's see if we can get this in the back. What do you think? Can we, think we can get it in there or no? No, I got this new idea. I need you no. to roll. No, I'm not going to the tire out like this. I need you to roll that no, tire back. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not Come on now. Lazy. I can't. I gotta have Lizzie drive. Come on, you're the no, man. Tom, no, no. There's not enough of your sodas in there to get me all the way out. Ball on trail. That one right there, Tom Tom. Still holding up. It's twisting up, but it's still it's still working. So this is a really tight bend here in the road. We're shortening it up really short so we can get it through this little piece.
made it out of there. The boards I was going to use to help get it on the trailer with, Are stuck under we there. ended up using for support because the hood was a little light, even though Tom Tom said it was heavy. <laughs> very heavy hood. Very very <laughs> thick gauge steel, older vehicle. <laughs> See, like a board, if you had a board, you could wedge in here somewhere, some shorter ones and longer ones. You can use that, and is it pivots? Yeah. It lifts it up for just a second to get it over things, too, and I, we just don't have enough carnage with it. There we go. That is ingenuity. That is an art right there. It's called work with what you got. That's fancy. That we're we're nothing if not fancy. We made it out there to Babylon, picked up this Jeep that was off in a ravine. Anyway, got it up on to where it was on somewhat level ground. We went out and skidded it out on a hood. Got it back to the yard and its main voyage is on over to St. George to Red Desert Off-Road where they can fix it back up and get it back on the road. Thanks for watching.